I hope you all are safe and doing great. It's me Ankita from ADS Good Times and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the topic, I would like to apologize for not being so consistent enough on my YouTube channel. It's because I take time to think on my content as I try to deliver some informative and creative fun video to my audience. Uh, that's the reason I hope you will you know have patience and please bear with me and th and I think I'm gonna do good all I need is your support so if you are a new gardener just like me and have little knowledge on plants then this video is for you because I'm going to share my experience um, uh, with a lot of informations so yes uh, watch this video till the end stay tuned uh, in today's video I'm going to share my experience with you all on the plants I bought home on the environment day so if you are following me on my Instagram you will already know that I have gifted myself two plants on environment day I have posted on my feed and also in the story and these two plants were Aurelia and the other was the cactus so first let me tell you um, that uh, buying indoor plants was from scratch I did not plan anything before going out I just phoned my friend uh, who is one of my best friend she just gave me an advice uh, that try collecting plants rather than buying it sometimes it costs so much which is not worth buying so, uh, she then said that she will be giving me a snake plan which I am very excited after this lockdown and corona thing settled down I'll go to her home and I'll get the snake plan for me and then I just went out and uh, if you are from Tejpur you have noticed uh, just near to the charge field uh, there are like vendors sitting and selling plants so I just went there and culled out two plants for me one was the cactus which was completely uh, my choice and the other one was this Aurelia which was suggested to me and convinced by the shopkeeper himself I bought it back and I was very happy I clicked picture and I uploaded it in my uh, Instagram stories and also in the feed and I got many compliments I was very happy I was very excited it's the first time I have bought some indoor plants and you know how happy I was you know it, it was at the peak so I was feeling so good my room was feeling so good everything is so positive you know later after two three days after people commenting good things looking at the picture and everything uh, some people also gave me negative comments like you shouldn't keep the cactus in your room it brings conflict in the relationship brings bad luck I don't know what so I was like fully upset Hearing those things, I was disturbed because what happens uh, to me is that you know, you know. I also want to know if this happens to you too. Sometimes uh, when I'm filled with joy and so positive, when such negative comments or things come in, uh, my uh, thought process changes drastically. So I was completely, you know, disturbed. And later I was thinking, how can a plant? Uh, be so negative how can it give so much of negative force this can't be I mean a person can give energy uh, which could be a negative or positive but how come this innocent being can give this negative feeling to uh, you know people so these things were going inside my head and I was not at all you know convinced then it so people also told me it's according to Feng Shui so Feng Shui told that you should not keep the, you know, plants uh, like cactus or any thorny plants in any plants inside your room. Um, later, I found out on Google that Feng Shui. Um, okay, first let me tell you what's Feng Shui because many people are not aware of what's actually it is, what's the concept of it. It's just a practice of looking at the living environment and the working space and striking all the balance with the you know natural world that's it so according to feng shui uh, it is suggested that you should not keep cactus or any thorny plants uh, 
in the bedroom or in the living room or in the entrance of your home just because it might hurt you it might prick you accidentally uh, that's it I, I think this was a simplest thing and it was logical enough and I was really convinced I feel that this makes sense rather than uh, believing it believing it on this superstitious belief that brings conflict or not after I got convinced, I took out the cactus out of my room and placed it on my terrace and it's doing really great. And then I replaced the cactus with this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous money plan. I was always clear in my head that I will not buy or uh, purchase money plans because I know this is available. I also bought Lucky Bamboo. So I collected um, lucky bamboo and money plant from my aunt thanks to her and I just replaced the cactus with it and now it looks dead gorgeous and very happy again so yeah, I think this is so uh, simple right when you believe in the logical things things become so sorted and you feel good about it so that's it now let me tell you about how to recognize a plant I mean if you are a new gardener and you have least knowledge how can you recognize a plant and how can you uh, maintain those plants so uh, I discovered this beautiful app called picture this go to Google Play Store and install that app this this app is very useful I mean just click the picture of the plant and this will the app will give you description about the plant and what type of the plant what type of plant it is so this is Aurelia right so from the beginning I know it's Aurelia but I was not sure what type of Aurelia is this so later I just install the app and click the picture of the Aurelia and there it showed it's a Ming Aurelia and how to take care of it everything was given in details so I was like wow I have a guide now so you have your guide to your place and now you don't need to ask any people around and you don't need to even worry about what to do about your plan so if your plans are like falling sick and you don't know how to take care of it just take the picture of that sick part of your plant and then upload it that app will immediately diagnose all the problems and will tell you uh, what are the uh, problems this plant is facing so according to that there is also you know given description on how to maintain this and what's lacking so that's it I it's it made so easy you know so I think I have come to an end of the video and I have uh, spoken out all those important things I wanted to share with you all and if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet then please do subscribe also hit the like button if you found this video really helpful and an informative one also share it with your friends and family see you in my next video till then bye bye